Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we have another episode of the Road to Glory with Yeovil Town in career mode in FIFA 19. Now this is going to be a post commentary video again unfortunately, sorry about that. Um, I've been super busy and these clips are from 2018 um, like, one of the, like the previous Wolfberg episode was. So I do apologise for that and um, hopefully I can get back to uh, recording live uh, soon. So, uh, hopefully, yeah, like I said, we can get back to that soon. Um, so, it, it, these videos kind of give me a chance to just chat and talk about the channel, the series, and what I want to do with uh, these videos and stuff like that. So, before we get into that, and also obviously talking about the gameplay that you are seeing in the background, uh, this episode was a bit of bit of an up and down episode, to be honest. Um, after having that really good uh, episode number two, um, this one's kind of uh, been a bit a bit up and down, but you will see that throughout the video. Uh, I do hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background, as Amang scores his, uh, one of his first goals for the club, but unfortunately he was offside, so it didn't count. Um, anyway, before I do start chatting away, if you do enjoy the video or like this series or my channel in general, please leave a like comment your thoughts on the video if you want me to improve anything, how I structure the videos and stuff like that as we hit the post there with a great effort. Um, back to what I was saying, if you do uh, have any suggestions for the series in general or any any just anything to try and improve my videos, you know, if it's webcam, uh, because pe I don't know, it, would webcam be a good thing to add to these videos? Obviously, uh, if I did a webcam, it would be live gameplay with a live reaction as well as uh, face cam. Um, for this video and for just videos on my channel in general. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet or if it, will, if it will improve my videos anyway. So don't forget to subscribe if you are new. We're now pushing on towards 700 subscribers uh, as we've only just recently hit 600. So the next goal is 700 of course as we move ever closer to that 1000 subscriber goal. So what I want to talk about in this video today, obviously this series is it's still fresh, you know, but obviously I haven't really been posting it as much now. Obviously, I've had my reasons why I haven't been posting on YouTube uh, for this month. Um, but yeah, moving aside from that, when I'm I'm trying to re now record videos day before, like a day before I post them. So, for example, I'm recording this audio uh, on the Monday night, 28th of January, and I want to upload this video on either Tuesday uh, Tuesday night. So basically, the 29th, so the day after. So what, how I want to do these videos is record the night before, then upload, record the night before, upload. So basically what I want to try and do, it's just all about efficiency and, and me putting my grind on. I want to have basically Monday, no, let's just take it for example, this is an example, this is what not what I've got in mind. So Monday we have Cardiff, then Tuesday I have Yeovil, Wednesday Cardiff, Thursday Yeovil, Friday Cardiff, Saturday Yeovil, and then Sunday we go back to uh, Cardiff and then it rotates round so Monday it'll be Yeovil then Tuesday Cardiff so I kind of want to have that rotation in my videos uh, I'm not too sure if I'll be able to do that uh, at now but as of now I am trying to do that as I've got a Cardiff video recorded need to edit it as I'm record as I'm recording this audio uh, I have this video obviously edited I just finished finished up editing that and now obviously you're watching this and I'm talking so yeah uh, just trying to keep um, busy on the channel because obviously I know I haven't uploaded much uh, like I said I did have my reasons as we scored a great goal there with Almeida uh, to put us 1-0 up against Grimsby in the league um, another thing I want to mention about this series now obviously people do like this Road to Glory style and it is nice to kind of have like a obviously we've got a Premier League uh, career mode on the on the go that is the main career mode of the channel um, I know obviously Cardiff aren't the biggest team in the Prem but they are obviously a much bigger team than Yeovil in terms of FIFA and the league so you can class Cardiff as the big career mode and then you've got the road to glory with Yeovil so um, how I want to structure the videos normally I do one month per episode which is usually three games an episode if I extend the highlights, but obviously in League 2, uh, you have much longer games, uh, no, sorry, much longer months in terms of games per month, so I'm not sure if I want to carry on with these 10 to, let's say 10 to 15 minute videos, as a man scores a great goal there against Grimsby to put us 2-0 up uh, to secure the win in this game, but yeah, like I'm saying, 
do you guys prefer the 10 minute to 15 minute videos of um, extended highlights with less games or would you prefer like maybe a, a 20 to 30 minute video or even longer per episode where you'll get more games per episode like two months or maybe even three months at some times um, which then allows me to obviously it's a lot more editing so it might not ha might not come out daily but would you then want me to do that so then we can push on into the League One Championship and hopefully the Premier League quicker instead of doing it as I'm doing now but obviously now I'm going to be trying to upload every other day for this vid this series and have Cardiff on the other days uh, that does mean that the series will pick up much quicker in terms of episodes coming out and that means months in the season and that means seasons in general so I'm a bit torn on what I want to do do I want to add in say a 30 minute video with uh, less extended highlights and just basically the goals in the games instead of like chances like that for example or like this now I've kept the ball rolling or do I want to just stick to these 10 to 15 minute videos of extended highlights but less games per episode so it would really help me out if you could let me know in the comment section below and also let me know about facecam because I am debating it um, I've seen a few people say in my previous videos uh, on different various different videos not just this series about maybe adding a face cam will that improve it I'm not too sure especially if the games are live then maybe a reaction with face cam is better than just you hearing my voice I don't know let me know down below anyway moving on I think that's enough talk about the channel I'm going to start talking about the gameplay as you have seen it has been an up and down episode so far here against Luton Town in the checker trade trophy uh, we can see the really really poor foul there from myself um, ball gets played across and I'm for uh, fortunate enough for it uh, is a very good block from uh, I think that was more I don't know who that was actually um, but anyway the ball does get whipped in from the corner as we do try to clear it out again it, the ball is going everywhere and it's just ah oh, see this game is really frustrating to play sometimes when you just see stuff like that I mean it is League 2 and it probably would happen in real life but um, yeah like I said pots getting in uh, the scraps uh, after like five bounces inside the six yard box and into the second half here they're literally just flooding us uh, in this game poor effort there from the original attempt as you can see here again they are pushing on uh, ch chance after chance um, and I did. I was going to bring on a new uh, a play, um, Almeida there, but I didn't bother in the end. We go for a shot there. It goes completely wide. Um, see, this is what I mean. Like clips like that, I wouldn't normally put in a video if it was like a 20 to 30 minute long video. But I just, I don't really know. I'm, I'm a bit stuck at the moment. But anyway, another good chance there from the, uh, uh, Zoko. I think that was or Z Zuko, however you pronounce his name. Like I said, I'm not good at pronouncing names. Uh, and names like that don't exactly help me. Um, could have pulled one back there. Luton driving on in, and it is two 0 now. And, and uh, it's just really unfortunate for us there, um, as it does loom over our heads that we might be out having an early bath in this Checker Trophy. Trophy. Unfortunately, uh, Green plays a really nice ball down to Bailey. He drives on in, play tries to play a ball across. Bailey tries to get the ball back, but unfortunately, he does get tackled. And uh, this is coming down towards the end of this game. Really unfortunate loss for us here. Like I said, it has been an up and down episode. And this is a really big down point for us because the Checker Tree Trophy would have been nice to try and go on a good run. Uh, but unfortunately, it was not to be for us. Anyway, we move on into a big game against MK Dons here. We start off really, really impressive here with a uh, really nice uh, play here. A man drives on in. Really good save from the keeper there. I don't know how he kept that out. I think it hit him in the face. Um, as our keeper Baxter makes a really nice save. Great tackle there from our captain. Uh, uh, centre half. Really, really good block. If he didn't get it, would have gone in. 1-0 to MK Dons. But that was not the case until another block from uh, our, one of our defenders again. A man here pushing on in. Lovely touch into the uh, get some space. Whips it to the back post. And the defender there just clears it out because Green probably would have just tapped that into an empty net. Um, Almeida now picks up the ball from the loose corner. Don't really know what to do with it here. I try to run into the box. Maybe get a little penalty if I could. Cuts it back. Whips it in. And it's a really nice uh, clearance there from the defender. Plays it. Uh, really nice football there from us and again we hit the post in this episode for the second time 
and we get a nice corner again whipped in from Green. No one can get on the end of it. Our centre back who was injured picks up the ball, lays it across to James who t he strikes and it nearly goes in but there's another good block from the defender. Whipped in again from Green. Keeper comes out and punches it. Really nice uh, punch there from the keeper. Moving on into the last stages of this game in the second half. The ball gets played in, into the box, drives on in, good tackle, but the ball bounces in, and look at that again. Another goal that is just absolute AIDS. I'm sorry, but it just it just sums up the League 2 standard, doesn't it? 80th minute, someone called So or Sal gets the goal, and we lose this game against MK Dons. I'm really frustrated about that because we, we didn't even play that bad. We had a lot of chances to score. Uh, but unfortunately, right at the end of the game, they go up the other end and score. So we move on into this game against Swindon Town. Another big game for us uh, at home this time. Or no, not sorry, not this time. Uh, at home again. Uh, we play the ball out to McDonald, who is our left winger, of course. Try to whip it in at some point to the back post. Green, unfortunately, doesn't get there. And Mang picks up the loose ball. One touch. Tries to dribble around this player. He wouldn't. He's not letting go of uh, a Mang there. Almeida picks up the ball into Green's path, tries to take it around the defender, gets tackled, and I tried to keep the ball in with James, and it just doesn't work at all, and the ball does go out for a goal kick, but we do press on again in the 32nd minute, Fisher, the main man up top, gives it to a man who can't quite sort his feet out, but we do manage to win a corner from that, um, Green tries to whip a nice ball in, front post, really good header there from the centre back, but unfortunately the keeper does save it, and Moving on into the 37th minute now. Moving in with Swindon. They're on the attack. Can we get rid of it? No. Lays it into the middle. And it's an easy goal for Richards there. Poor defending and marking from our defence there. Richards with a really easy tap in. Uh, not going to miss from uh, six yards out. Again, hits the post with the corner. We get rid of it with Green uh, eventually. Uh, really, really nice uh, clearance. Because that was a really nice header off the post. Uh, and we get a counter attack here. Fisher bombing it down in the 56th minute. Can he finish? No, he can't. What was that? Awful clear, uh, awful shot. It, it, it may as well be a clearance by the way he shot that. Really, really poor. Um, really nice ball inside to Almeida. Into a mang. Can he do something with it? I'm waiting for that run of Fisher. Fisher on the ball. And he puts it wide from there. I slowed his run down. Just to um, get a better finish. Because normally when you run with a low rated player. And you shoot. The effort is really poor. But what was that? Amang picks it up. Gives it to Green. What's he going to do with it? Tried to lay it back to Amang. Again. We get the ball. Uh, intercepted and cleared for a corner for us. Whipped it in. Amang's front post. He can't get his head onto it. And unfortunately. The ball does come out. Uh, we try to play it up again. We try to get the ball back up in the last stage of the game. And we get intercepted. And unfortunately, we do manage. We don't manage to get anything out of this game again. Not really. Like I said, an up and down episode for us. We're sat 14th in the table now. I mean, it's still early doors in the league. So don't worry about that, lads. I will make sure that we get up to at least a playoff place. Um, as this is the last game in the episode against Crawley. In a simulated game. Uh... They get a pick up an injury and a yellow card within the first 20 minutes or so. We actually get a goal with McCory and then Palmer scores literally a minute after to make it 1-1. Uh, as James picks up a yellow card there. Uh, Almeida gets a goal and we're literally cruising here. 2-1 is looking like we're going to win uh, into the last 10 minutes of the game. Last five and someone called Poland scores. So we draw 2-2. And that, it, guys, is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.